Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product Automated Breast Mask Classification System using Deep Learning and Ensemble Learning in Digital Mammogram Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process Breast cancer is one of the leading diseases that causes the death that occurs in the woman Early detection and treatment are imperative for improving the survival rate and to reduce the such kind of hazards as mentioned above, which have steadily increased in recent years as a result of more sophisticated CAD systems. The CAD systems are essential to reduce the subjective and supplement the analysis conducted by the specialist by means of the detection and identification as well as the preventions. This process achieves the both stable feature extraction as well as then the classification rate. Hence, by means of the stable feature extraction and classification rate, we have to diagnose which type of tumor is there, which type of cancer is there. Then, based on that, we can able to diagnose the diseases. So, that reason, this process will be helpful to identify whether the breast cancer is affected or not. If there is any breast cancer, means it will be indicated as an whether it is an benign or malignant, which type of breast cancer is there. Then the final results will be shown like the which type of cancer is there and then the performance will be evaluated. Now we are going to discuss about the initial working flow of the process. This is the overall working flow of this process. The central box consists of the modules. These are the modules present in the overall process. At first module is the input image, then the pre-processing then the region of interest segmentation, then feature extraction, feature selection, classification, finally the performance estimation. This is the overall modules. At first, the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset consists of the images consist of both the malignant type, benign type and normal type. After getting any one image from the input, the pre-processing will be carried out. In this pre-processing step, the image will be enhanced by means of the contrast enhancement. After the enhancing the image, we have to move on to the third step of the process that is the region segmentation ROI means region of interest. So the which is the region of interest is the, the tumor region, cancer region whether it is a benign or malignant whatever it is. So we have to extract that region so by means of the cropping based on the coordinates. After extracting the corresponding region, we just move on to the feature extraction. This feature extraction, there are two kinds of features there, one is the local features, then the another one is the GLCM, that is the gray level co-occurrence matrix. This is the kind of a features which we have extracted from the segmented image. After the feature extraction, we just move on to the next step, that is the feature selection. Feature selection is nothing but the among the lot of features, we have to select the some corresponding features, that is the feature selection. So, in this feature selection, we applied an algorithm that is the RQR. So, that is the algorithm we applied to reduce the feature dimension. After the feature selection, we just move on to the next step that is the classification. In this classification, there is a three kind of the classified is used. One is SVM that is the support vector machine. Then the another one is the KNN that is the K nearest neighbor. Then the third one is the PNN, that is the probabilistic neural network. This is the three kind of classification methods we have applied to classify whether the input is in the type of malignant or benign or else the normal, which one is there. So, after applying the classification method, we just move on to the last step of the process, that is the performance estimation. This performance estimation, we have estimated the performances like accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. Based on that, we can justify our process is efficient or not. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process. At first, open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directory. If you want to execute the process, just right click in the main underscore gui.m and select the option run. 
now the user interface was open in that user interface you can see the several push buttons in the right side for the controlling actions and then the several access in the left side for the display purpose at first click the button input image after clicking the button input image we have to open the folder that is the dataset after that we have to pick any one image from the dataset after the selection of the image from the dataset the corresponding image is shown in the access one with the title original image after the selection of the input we just move on to the next step that is the pre-processing in this pre-processing we have to enhance the quality of the image that is the filtering like that then the contrast enhancement after enhancing the pixel intensities we just move on to the third step that is the segmentation in this segmentation portion the region of interest is extracted by means of the coordinates hence the region of interest is shown in the access 3 with the title of ROI image after the segmentation completed the feature extraction will be carried out in this feature extraction step the feature is extracted by means of the GLCM then the corresponding feature is shown in this table these are the attributes we have taken from this image After the extraction of the features, we just move on to the feature selection. Hence, this selected feature coordinates is shown here. After the feature selection completion, the classification will be carried out. In the classification part, we have applied the three kind of classification that is the SVM, KNN and ENN. Now, the classification results will be displayed like this. Once the classification was completed, we just move on to the last step of the process that is the performance estimation. This performance estimation, we have to find out the performance parameters like accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. Hence, the accuracy and sensitivity and specificity value is displayed in the values as well as in the table format. This is the chart we have estimated by the performance.